Hey guys, Nathan James Williamson here and in today's episode of Aesthetic Biomechanics, we're going to be showing you guys a cable rope push down utilizing their TFM leverage technique. Now to perform this exercise, what we're going to need is a high cable and a rope. And the reason why we're using a rope today is because we need to be able to have freedom in the movement to articulate the exercise a certain way to a squeeze a certain part of the muscle. Now, if you guys don't have access to a rope, you can use a straight bar push down or whatever else you have. The whole idea of this exercise is to utilize the TFM leverage technique so we can apply pressure to certain parts of the muscle. All right, now first things first, what I want you guys to do, grab each side of the cable with each hand. Keep your elbows in by your side and chest up at all times. Now what we're gonna do here, always make sure you, again, you walk backwards just that little bit, probably half a step back. It just keeps the tension in your triceps a lot deeper. Now what we're gonna do here, when we're stretching, our elbows are coming up. This is where the leverage technique comes in. Our elbows come up, create a stretch for our tricep, and what we're doing here, when we contract, we sort of lean backwards with it. So from here, elbows staying by your side, chest comes up. Now the reason we bring our chest up is so that throughout the entire motion, tension stays on our tricep. Now the part of the tricep we're trying to target is the part of the tricep that most people lack, which is the long head of the tricep. Most of the time people have a very well developed short head and an underdeveloped long head. So when you guys are squeezing, making sure with your mind, you're initiating the contraction of long head from the side of the motion. Now when using the leverage technique with this particular exercise, like I said previously, you wanna come up like this, right? But making sure as you're coming up, your elbows are tucked into the side of your body. If your elbows are not tucked into the side of your body and we start contracting with our elbows out, it's gonna encourage you to use a short head of your tricep, not the long head. And this particular exercise, we're targeting the long head. Now, as a part of aesthetic biomechanics, what we're trying to create is proportion, balance, and symmetry. So in this particular exercise right here, the reason why we're targeting the long head is because we're trying to create the same shape on both sides of the arm. If I'll show you in this instance right here, I wanna have the same shape on this side of my tricep as I do with this side of my bicep. Same from this picture here. We wanna have from this point here, the same shape from here as we have back here. So from an aesthetic standpoint, it's important to work the long head of your tricep if our goal is proportion, balance, and symmetry. Now with this particular exercise, what I want you guys to do is I want you to do this at the start of every single workout. Reason being is because the long head of the tricep usually is the underdeveloped part. And again, like a lot of the other exercises we prescribe, we're trying to increase blood flow, which is why we're doing high volume, high rep sets into the area which is the weakest, so when we go and do you know, a skull cross or any heavier movement, the muscle with the most amount of blood is most likely going to be the muscle which is gonna work the hardest. What I want you guys to be doing with this exercise is five working sets and 15 reps per exercise. Now with this exercise as well, if you guys wanna do some drop sets and some super sets and chuck some other crazy stuff then you can. And later on in coming videos, I'm gonna explain to you guys about how to perform a dark zone set when it comes to triceps. All right guys, that's how you perform a tricep cable push down utilizing the TFM leverage technique. I want you guys to give this shot on your next workout and leave a comment in the box below on what you guys think. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.